You know, you've got two little things. You got the little angel and the little devil. And I listened to this guy over here and sent it. Without even thinking twice, I dropped down the in run, going for a stock Superman front flip. The landing hill came and went, and I probably dropped from like 100 feet. And I remember looking down, I landed on the tips of my skis, and then just came down so chest heavy, and with that rotation of the front, the weight of my ski boots came around and smacked me in the back of the head, and it was lights out. When I landed, the, the force of my skis coming around dislocated my back and severed my spinal cord, so it cut all the nerve endings. So unbeknownst to me at the time, I couldn't move anything, but I, I couldn't feel anything. So I was like, all right, but I could tell by the look. Everybody had seen a ghost. I wouldn't want to go back there. And I'll tell you that I wouldn't want to wish that moment on my worst enemy. You know, physical and emotional pain like that just doubled up. I think probably the biggest turning point for me was when the doctor in the emergency room broke it down for me. And he basically just told me that I'm going to kick ass in a wheelchair and before I know it, I'm going to be back in the mountains riding a sit ski. So I told everybody on the speakerphone that day, I said, you know what? I want you guys to celebrate skiing for me. I said, I want you guys to love it the way I loved it. There's nothing to mourn here because I'm going to be back. So I promise you that I'm going to be back in the mountains. 2005, I learned to ski which arguably was probably one of the more enjoyable years I've had because there's no pressure, no expectation, no negative energy from competition, no nothing. I just got to ski and explore and felt like I was just a little kid. 2007, ended up winning the Canadian Championships. 2008, I earned a spot on the World Cup circuit. Got my ass handed to me every weekend. I didn't like that very much, so I took what I learned applied it over the summer, brought it to 2009, and won the World Championships, which was kind of crazy. Ended up coming back to Whistler from the World Championships and won the downhill there, which solidified me as one of the skiers that belong with the best, and I was feeling good, and that just rolled me in quite nicely to the Paralympic Games in Whistler in 2010, and brought home a silver medal for Canada, which was outstanding. <laughs> I believe in my heart that I couldn't have done what I've done in the period of time that I have without the support network that I have. But there's still something missing, you know. I'm not a ski racer, I'm a free skier. This is my dream, this is what I want to do, and I'm not going to be fully satisfied until I give an honest effort to it. Now the Paralympics and the X Games, that dream came later, but this is, this is something I've been dreaming about ever since I was laid out in the hospital. It all started a few months back at Woodward's at Copper. Just started jumping around in the foam pit and that's when I realized a backflip was possible. And then from there the natural progression was to bring it onto the airbag at Blackcomb in their terrain park. And then it was on. My passion and dream has always been to be a skier. 
and my career has been filled with peaks and valleys. But holding on and staying true to what I love to do and to be a skier and to travel the world, to explore new places and to explore myself through the medium of being a skier, it's, it's freedom. <laughs>